Alrighty guys, so this is my third AOM routine. This is the brand new one that I have just made. This has been months in the making. Um, I really wanted to take the time and pick out very unique scenarios that I thought were fun to play, as well as the scenarios that would really improve my in-game play style. So if you guys are looking for this playlist, you can just go to the playlist tab here and type in my name Strafe and my routine should pop up. This is my first routine. This is probably an intermediate level. This is my second one that I just posted a video about for beginners. And this is my new one, which is for aim and movement. Now, as for what this playlist is mainly targeting, as you can see here in the description, it says a unique routine heavily focused on improving movement and strafing in FPS games. Great practice for anti-mirroring fundamentals. Now, since the main game I play is Warzone, um, I was kind of just trying to think of ways that I could improve my aim and improve my movement outside of the game because, of course, in Warzone, the movement mechanics aren't that difficult to actually learn. I mean, you have B-hopping, slide canceling, and for the most part, that's mainly it. So I wanted to develop a routine that just wasn't for Warzone and kind of would transfer over to games like Apex. Now, if you notice in the description here, I talk about anti-mirroring, which I will get into once I show off these scenarios. Overall, this playlist is definitely for more advanced aimers and aim trainers. Um, however, if you are not that advanced and are not ready for some of the aiming scenarios in here, uh, feel free to just run through the movement scenarios I toss in here as those are very good practice. <clears throat> so I had already gone over my settings in the last video, which I posted about one or two weeks ago. So if you guys need aim lab settings, I'm going to drop a link to that one. Uh, that one also goes over my beginner routine. And if you need the settings, I highly recommend you reference that video. Um, I really haven't changed anything, so I'm not going to be talking about those today. But what we're going to do now is just run through these scenarios. Um, I'm going to go in depth more on some and some are just kind of straightforward, but I will talk about each. Alrighty, so starting off here with RA reflex here. Um, this is definitely just a implementation of air if you're familiar with the air scenario um, this one is pretty difficult i'd say mainly this just improves upon your tracking and reactivity next up here we have ra close fast trace robot and this one is just going to be working on your reactivity to targets um, keep in mind for this one you're going to try your hardest not to predict but instead react if that makes sense so react to the target's change in movement rather than predict when he's going to move all right guys, so moving on and probably my favorite and the most important scenario in this routine, I would say is RA Strafe Track Coliseum Dodge. As you can see, I have four plays for this one compared to two for most, um, as well as Stair Dodge here, which is another movement one I'll get into. Um, but for this one, this is a great one to practice your anti-mirroring fundamentals on. Um, basically what anti-mirroring is, if your target is going left, you strafe to the right using your D key on your keyboard and vice versa. If your target is going to the right, you use the A key and strafe left. Um, now in Apex specifically, this does help a lot with recoil control as well as just being um, a harder target to hit in game for the opponent. Now when you actually load up the scenario here, you're going to notice the target is shooting these little orbs at you. Um, and that is why you have to strafe to try and dodge these. If you get hit by them, you will lose points. As you can see, the score decreases every time I get hit. Now, what I would focus on here is the anti-strafing I talked about. So he goes left, I go right, right, left, and vice versa. Um, and then as you can see, the movement bar at the bottom, basically you're not gonna want that to be red like this. That means you're going one direction for too long and you're too predictable. So basically you just have to find the happy medium between anti, or, uh, yeah, anti-mirroring and just uh, filling up this bar while not making it red. And on top of that, you also have to have good accuracy on the target, which is why I think this like overload of um, practice and inputs is just kind of a good training method and uh, it's pretty high stimulation to improve. So next up here, we have RA jump track vertical. I wanted to throw a vertical scenario in this routine um, just to keep it more balanced. But yeah, this one is pretty straightforward. You just have a object that goes up and down and then you just try your best to track it. And this kind of just helps with your vertical smoothness quite a bit. So next we're going to be moving on to RA stair dodge here. Now this is the other important movement one in this routine. That's why there are four plays for this one. So basically for this one, the same holds true for the Coliseum scenario. You're going to try your best to anti-mirror your opponent like this, as well as being accurate and dodging these orbs. Next, we're moving on to RA bounce switch. This one is also pretty straightforward. The targets are pretty small, hence the advance in the title. Um, but yeah, this one's pretty straightforward. Just try your best to track the targets. This kind of works on a bunch of things. Not so much reactivity, but mainly just smoothness um, and precision. Nearing the end here, we have RA long strafe dodge easy. <clears throat> now for this one, 
just kind of like fast strafes, but you also are going to want to dodge this target. Now, this is another movement scenario. I don't know if it's as important as the other two, so that's why there's only two plays. But guys, feel free if you're working on the movement to try this one four times or even more if you want. Uh, but basically, you have the movement bar similar to the Coliseum scenario. You're going to try and keep that in the middle like I'm doing right here, not get it red. And at the same time, it maintained accuracy on this green pill. And finishing off here, we have RA close dodge. So for RA close dodge, this is a very close target. You may become frustrated, especially if you're on low sense. But um, same as the last scenario, same practice and fundamentals. And But same as the last scenario, same fundamentals. Work on your anti-mirroring and keep an accurate position. <clears throat> but same as the last movement scenario you're going to want to keep that bar somewhere in the middle without making it red and try your best to predict and stay accurate on the target so similar to the last one you're going to try and keep the movement bar somewhere in the middle like this but not make it red try your best to stay as accurate as possible on the target while not predicting and reacting instead and you may become frustrated with lower senses in this scenario but it will all help out and i guarantee that Anyways, guys, that's all I have in today's video. This one is definitely going to be shorter than the last one I make. Yet again, if you need the settings that was in the last video that I posted, I will have all of the links and everything you guys need down in the description below. Also, if you do follow me on Twitter, I did announce this earlier today. So if you would like to get updates before they go live on Twitch or on YouTube, I recommend you follow my Twitter. It's just at Strafe and that's where I post that stuff. If you guys found this helpful, please drop a like. It really does help out the channel more than you ever know. And if you guys do enjoy this content, please be sure to drop a like. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And I hope you found this helpful. I will see you guys in the next upload and peace.